All right, so here our athlete um, has injured his shoulder, and it's after the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply just a compression wrap uh, um, over the shoulder to um, help with any swelling, help in any um, pain that he might have. And so we're just going to do a spike up. Shoulder spike. It's the exact same as uh, the shoulder spike at taping, just using with um, uh, a, a wrap. So again, we're going to have them in internal rotation, probably more neutral at this point in time, just because again, nice and relaxed. Um, we're going to start at the bicep. I'm going to do my little dog ear here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across the chest. I'm going to come. Do a figure eight pattern around the shoulder. Now the first one I don't really want to go up over the shoulder because I want to cover the deltoid, but as I come up I'm continuing to go slightly more over the shoulder kind of every single time that I do this because what that's going to do is that's going to apply nice compression or even compression around going all the way up and around the shoulder. Now here with this guy probably better to you know, finish off on the arm. Uh, got a little bit more wrap that I kind of like here, but that's okay. Um, secure this just with some elastic tape or tape, and making sure that it comes all the way up as high as you can without restricting any breathing uh, uh, with the throat, but just get this up as much as you possibly can. Just gonna apply nice, um, tight compression on that. Not really trying to restrict any movement. Um, I just want uh, the warmth, the heat, Pressure for that. Now, a slight uh, modification for this, um, as listed in the lab sheet, is um, uh, for doing a donut pad. Okay, so here in this situation, he might have an AC, he might have a, a bruise to his shoulder. Um, so I can put the pad anywhere that I really want to. Let's just say he's got a bruise, you know, up high right here. What then I can do is as I come. Across, I can use this wrap to help hold this donut pad in place. Okay. And then that way you can go out there and, and play. It's got compression, but it also has that slight uh, protection uh, factor going on. So I can put this pretty much anywhere. It doesn't have to be that big, it can be smaller, but as long as the hole is the right size to cover the um, extra injured site, 